You ready? Yes. All right. All right. The Finance Committee meeting for February the 6th, 2023. Dr. Jones? Here. Uh, Councilor Baltney? Here. Councilor Alamon? Here. Councilor Smith? Here. And Councilor right. Harden? Here. Hey, we got everybody in the house today. Woo. Yeah. Cool. All right. Uh, do we have a motion to dispense with the radio minutes on the 23rd and approve them as distributed? So moved. Second. Okay. Uh, Councilor Alamon made that motion. Councilor Harden seconded it. Any other questions, comments? All in favor say aye. Aye. All opposed by the same sign. It passes 5 to 0. Okay. Uh, we'll just start at the top. Uh, 250417, a request for consideration of 18th Street revitalization project. Um, spoke with GMC and um, and then Kale Smith this afternoon. He was not able to attend tonight, but uh, I've got a couple of updates uh, that, you know, the delay that we've had has been AT&T related. And so they're finally going to, they have to move their line out of where we're constructing the turn lane. And so they're finally getting that taken care of within the next week. Uh, and then they can reconvene uh, uh, their construction uh, at, uh, within a week after that. So they're still looking at trying to get this thing complete in March, in, in, by the end of March, uh, all of that up there. So as you know, we've been in severe delay mode with almost everything relating to 18th Street. So, I'm, you know, that, but that's the update. And if there are questions, we can convey those to GMC. Any, any questions? Councilor Jones, not related specifically to that, but um, where are we in terms of the, the whole project? Are we almost done? Yeah. <laughs> that's, like, just curious. yeah that, that's the whole project would be, because I asked that question, you know, when would the entire project be complete? And I was told April 1st. Okay, wow. Well. That's what we're targeting right now. If, if they can go sooner than they will, uh, there are some things going on within that, within that, um, intersection at Valley and 18th Street. Mm -hmm. Birmingham is going to put up uh, the, the poles for the uh, crosswalks and all that. So they're working on that and that's under, uh, they're getting federal funds for that. Okay. But um, that should be done um, at the same time that we're, we're doing all the other work. Um, and as you recall, there's another project where they over 18th Street, they're going to have one lane on each side with a turn lane in the middle, like we have on Valley. Um, they're getting federal funds for that, so that one's going to take a lot longer to okay. complete. Well, thank you. Appreciate but that's all on the horizon. Did we ever find out the answer that you asked last time about the height of those yes. poles? Because you were right; those poles are really, yeah. are really tall. Uh, what Keith said <coughs> was that those the poles uh, in the median are too high they they need to be 14 feet uh, at the most okay. the ones on the outside are required to be 20 feet so but they but visually it'll look better if with or to be lower so it's going to be they're supposed to be 14 feet so are they going to replace those yes. then yes okay yeah okay that's what they told me okay so we'll keep getting <laughs> we'll keep getting updates and is if you think of things in between meetings, send them to me, or we'll we'll get them answered. Um, but I'm I'm hoping we're we're close on all of that. Okay. All right. So we'll carry that over without objection. Uh, moving on. Eleven oh one twenty three. A request for consideration of placing full page ad in the Chamber of Commerce magazine. Uh, Councillor Andrews. Uh, yes, so this is going to be a full-page color ad in the Chamber magazine. Um, we have been given a 10% discount, and that total amount comes to $17.95.50. And $17.95.50, and that's coming to, that'll be... Um, Sanders, can you say that again? Yes, um, $17.95.50. Coming out of the advertising line item. So 1115 five something like that. It's the advertising 0111 files, but I'll have to get it to you. Same as last year. Yes, sir. Same one as last year. <laughs> okay. That's in the budget, isn't it? I think we've already got the budget. Well, well, we have money in the budget. It's just yeah. the advertising line. Just, yeah. We have that in the That's advertising not the line item. Line. It's not specifically. Yep. Okay. Any questions? 
<coughs> Is there a motion to approve that expenditure out of that? Oh, uh, well, okay. Second. Were you it? Oh, no, I can't uh, make the I think that motion for approval. I'll sorry. <laughs> okay. Councilor Gwalding uh, made the motion. Councilor Alamon seconded it. Are you Any voting or are you staying? I think I'll vote. Huh? I'll, I'll stay. I'm staying. Yeah. Okay. Uh, any other questions? All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed? Aye. Any abstentions? Yes, that would be me. Okay. All the same. Four, four oh, zero one. and one. Yeah, yeah. thank you. We'll, we'll put the number on here for your minutes to report out. Yeah. It's 01 11 5 something. One two abstentions. <laughs> we'll give you the account. Dot, dot. We'll give you the account number when you report it out. Okay. Uh, 120123 request set a bid date for March 13th for the Delcris sidewalk. Project phase one, uh, the recommendation is to set the bid date for, for March 13th. So do we have a motion to uh, set that date? Second. Okay. Councilor Alderman Cal's made okay. that motion. Cal's, Cal's okay with that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he's the one that recommended we should rename. So Cal. Councilor Harden seconded that. Barbara <laughs> calls him Cal too. Well, every time I try to call my husband, I say, or every time I try to text Kale, I'm like, text Kale Smith. And it's like, which number for Kyle Smith? I'm like, no, not him. I think he's fine for uh, good guy. So an accent. Is there yeah. something we need to talk about? Sarah <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> doesn't know your accent. No, clearly she cannot okay. understand Just me. kidding. Uh, <laughs> strike that, Brian. Uh, okay, any other questions on that? Okay, all in favor, say aye. 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 All opposed by the same sign. That passes 5 to 0. Uh, 130123, uh, request to authorize the mayor to sign contract, pay appropriation to West Homewood Neighborhood Association. This is budgeted. What's, what's this the is amount? budgeted. Yeah. What is the uh, amount? Already $8,000. Oh, $8,000. Okay. Sold. Second. Okay. Moved by Councilor Alamon, second by uh, Councilor Smith. Uh, and if anyone needs that contract, we have the contract if anyone wants to review it. Um, but. Uh, any other questions on that? That that's line, is that the line? Four one eleven five five seven five one five zero. I think that's right. five seven. What is it? Five seven five one three. One three. What are those one three. I confirm. We'll confirm. Robert, I'll confirm yes, it. That's tonight. it. Five seven five one three. Eight thousand dollars. Okay, it's been motioned and seconded. Um, any other questions, comments? All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed by the same sign. That passes five to zero. Okay, 140123, request to authorize the mayor to sign contract pay appropriation to Class Trend. Um, here we have just a small little uh, issue. Okay. Um, and that is that we have, uh, for, for Class Trend, we have budgeted. Um, Sixteen thousand eight hundred and forty-two dollars. Okay, when we got the contract from Class Trend, they put in seventeen thousand. <laughs> so we're, I mean, we're we're only one hundred and fifty-eight off, but we we do need to. Um, mm -hmm. Seventeen five. Okay. Yeah, I did see today it was seventeen five. Okay. Make well, a motion to do a, we'll have to do a budget amendment. So well, no, no. What what I would, we didn't we can talk money. about this, but my my thought is that you know we had. Uh, Communicated to them that it was going to be level funding, which was uh, sixteen eight forty two. That's what we talked about. Well, I went able to confirm with the mayor. You so, know, do you know JJ? I, I don't know whether they asked the mayor for an increase and it didn't get to me and Robert, or whether he wanted level. But I can't confirm it. We sent an email, but I never heard back. So I don't want to speak for the mayor. Well, what did they do? Sorry, exactly. yeah. well, I don't know. Class trend, they provide. Can you? Um, I thought they were under the Can you, you find out? They are under. Yeah, they are level under funding. BJCTA. Program. Yeah. Yeah. Robert said well, they, 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 so they, 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 they get a separate give thing. rides they to Lakeshore Foundation. Okay. Yeah, for like people mm, with special needs and transport. Okay. When Mr. Kendrick told me it was an increased amount, I, Robert and I just emailed the mayor to make sure we didn't miss something, but I didn't hear back if affirmably well, or not. So do we want to carry it over uh, so that we can hear from Becca? Yeah. Sure so why don't we uh, let, let's wait on JJ to hear hear back right. on that. So let, let's let's uh, carry this over. Because the contract was you that saw the contract day. She was that she was asking like in order to then to provide we'll the same, the same service that they were providing if they needed an increase. Did you see how she had it worded? This is the same contract. So, uh, I don't know, but she she it did just, have that amount in there. But it, I don't. Remember last year they had seventeen thousand something, and we had to. Could just been the top of from last year. Mm -hmm. Last year. Yeah. Okay. So, 
if y'all just want to pre what was like in the inflation budget? Then I would, well, I mean, yeah, I mean, if, if they want if they want more, then I, I, I wish I wish that would come to us during budget hearings. But um, my 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 thought is we uh, we approve it for what what's in the budget, and if we need to. I just sent her an email, copy to you and Robert, Mr. Kendrick, and the mayor, and said, hey, this was what was approved in the budget, so. I mean, we're fun. not that far I think I mean, it's not. Been I think I could tell them we, we understood it was going to be low budget. funding. Yeah, we said low funding. So, was that a motion? Let's make a motion to approve at the amount we budgeted. Okay, in a second. 16. Okay, in a second. Yeah. Councilor Allen, the, the motion is to uh, to approve, uh, authorize the mayor to sign the contract for level funding, which uh, is $16,842, seconded by Councilor Smith. And if we need to make an amendment after that, we can. Uh, all in favor say aye. Aye. All opposed at the same time, five to zero. And it's 0111.5 something to we'll get to you. <laughs> yeah, I think he's got it. Uh, okay, uh, 160123, request for additional street lighting and assessment for Parkside Court. Andy Nix, and, and I put this on here. Um, he had uh, requested this, and then we have a report from Mr. Hamlin. Yeah, I was, uh, talked to Andy Nix, HOA president, last week. And uh, each house out there has got a light at their mailbox. The they were the, under the impression that those lights were seen lights. Their private line. So he's gonna. Oh, he said at their next HOA meeting, he would address that with the homeowners and you know let them know that it's up to them to prepare those. Uh, we did have a couple of street lights that were out, and I've taken. Oh, I've talked to Alabama Power this morning, and they're gonna take care of those this week. So, uh, are they asking for more lights, more street lights? No, he, he said he thinks once everything's repaired that uh, they would have plenty of light. Oh, right. so, I mean, if you've driven over there, it's really nice. I mean, yeah, yeah every house has a light in there front of it. Was, I mean, it's very nice. Yeah. yeah. yeah it but just, those were put up, I guess, when the houses were... They thought the city... Right, yeah. the houses have more. Yeah. yeah. yeah they yeah, thought the city owned those yeah. lights, but they didn't. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, I, I, I guess in light of that, then we can... I would say we could probably drop okay. this. And it's in public safety as well, Mr. Watley. Okay. All right, so I would make a motion to drop this on and find it. Second. Okay. Uh, it's moved by Councilor Smith, second by Councilor uh, Gwaltney. Uh, so drop that. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed, aye. 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 That is dropped. Okay. Uh, we only have one item that I would ask uh, that we I'm going to take care of uh, 041222 uh, to take this one off the table just for the drug testing portion. I don't know, I'm trying to think logistically how we can do that, but um, I guess I need a motion to, to, to take 41222 off. Um, I see Alex standing up over there. No, and just trying to logistically, yeah, I, I think what would be appropriate is if you could send it out to council and leave it and then. I know this is an ordeal for it to put it back on the table. Leave one component of it here and put it back on the table for the comp portion. Okay, okay. So move 412 22 off the table for uh, drug the drug testing portion. Okay. Leave the and you, work, and if you work, want to send that out, comp go ahead and send it out here. And then Leave the item, leave the rest of the item. Does it on need the table. does it need another item or does it matter? We we I think we could still handle can, all that. We can keep there. it. Okay. Mission. All right, well I would make a motion to take zero zero four twelve twenty two off the table. Second. Okay. Move by Mr. Smith, second by Mr. Harden. Any questions on that? All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed are the same sign. Okay. That passes five to zero to take that off the table. And the report and Harold Parker uh, uh, was, he's not going to be here tonight, but I, I talked to him. And um, we, we just have, we're continuing to have all kinds of issues. So with just the, um, drug the drug testing portion. So <clears throat> the recommendation is for uh, Alicomp to take over all of the drug testing 
with the exception of after hours drug testing, which would be handled by UAB Highlands. So that's a recommendation because we, we But that's a recommendation. And JJ, do you want to add anything to that? No, so just today was the latest problem where they we had two, I think, were part employees and they ran out of forms. So they had to, they gave them the test, they didn't have to lose the form. I went this morning and I was, they said that was the last form they had. Uh, so. <laughs> yeah, I have yet. Yeah. I couldn't get, I had one I had to send on to new hire. All right, so. Alicomp's in Homewood and they've got plenty of work. Okay, so and, and is the after hours thing because they are just, they are, yeah, they, they use regular, they have regular hours. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we, do we have we, a lot of people that do drug testing like you're in off hours? Just if there's an accident. Post accident. Oh, post accident. Post accident. Yeah. Okay, so we got it. We have 400 we, total a year. Yeah. Okay. And we've I don't know what percentage it would be after hours and weekends for okay okay so that's oh, not changing okay all right um so that, yeah what did you say they're all random tests or new employee tests except for accidents that's what would be after hours. yeah those would be the only thing um so would the motion be to approve alicomp as the new drug testing um clinic for, for so all the, drug testing, for all drug testing, with the exception of with hit hours, which would be the UAV Highlands UAV group, Highlands. Um, and then we would leave the other portion of this item would remain in committee. Okay. Yeah. I guess. Second. <laughs> 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 second. <laughs> 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 I was processing that before I said. Well, I know. Well, <laughs> well, a second. You'll repeat that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Nope. Thank you for your indulgence. This, this is just we want to get this taken care of. This was very frustrating for uh, the department heads and the employees. Okay, so it's been moved and seconded um, to, to approve that. Uh, all in favor say aye. 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 All opposed by the same sign. That's five to zero. And the other portion is still tabled for the workers' comp. So we'll get to that. We'll take care of that. Okay. okay. Uh, anything else? I, I did have one question. Yes. Um, <coughs> finance might know the answer to this or Berkeley or department head. Do we know where we stand with what we paid out, like what percentage of payout or retainage we have left on the Green Springs project? Have we fully paid for that, or do we still have retainage left? We still have a purchase order. This yeah, we still, still I, I think they're waiting on, that's what I was emailing Clark about, because Chuck and them are trying to finish up. I mean, it's a small amount that's left on that phase. So we, we have not 100% paid out? No, not so yet. So who's reviewing the pay apps? Uh, Elizabeth Johnson and Clark Bader over it. Okay. Me. So they approve them, they come to us for payment, yes. right? And then, yeah, and then so it, it's they send all of mine is currently reviewing those invoices. Yeah. Yep. A pleasure. Yeah. But they still got a few. <laughs> there, an the field. There's several <laughs> items still on the list yeah. that have not been addressed. Well, they've got a stack of concrete sitting on a yes. tarp in a couple of places. That's and right. It's just. Yeah, that's one reason we've never closed out. Like a year and a half into this. Yeah. I don't know what it's going to take to get that contractor back out, but I was hoping we had not paid them out. So that's no, good. we have not. And if people keep running over those reflective <laughs> things, we'll, we'll never. Just we should have like a little stash and just go out there. Are you talking about the targets? <laughs> yeah, the targets, yeah. <laughs> I think I'm just going to, we're going to try eventually just go ahead and get them all worked. Yeah, that's, that was Clark's idea. Wasn't yeah, it? I, that, that's probably a good plan. Um, Protecting bicyclists. Make them a little more permanent. Maybe it, maybe steel it. or concrete. <laughs> you might. Nobody hit them then. No, then we get nine million claims for <laughs> car damage. Okay. Um, okay, I would reference in regards to that that there was consideration of possibly you know having armadillos type material. Like I don't know. There, yeah. There's a road um, design called armadillos where they're just like bumpers that are closer to the ground where you don't have. The potential, you know, issues with people running over them or, you know, having to replace them as much, but you still have, you know, a, a barrier where if you if you hit it, you know, you veered off into the lane you're not supposed to be in. But I just just related to that discussion, he mentioned that last week and wanted to chime in with that. Okay. okay. All right. Any other questions? Hearing none, we're adjourned.
finance. Public safety meeting February 6, 2023. Councilor Walton here. Councilor Wolverton Councilor Jones here. Councilor Nelms here. Councilor Hart here. Thank you. Uh, I'll entertain a motion to dispense the reading and approve of the minutes from the public safety committee meeting January 23rd. So moved. Second. Councilor Harden. Councilor Nelms. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 All those opposed, nay. Ayes have it. Four to zero. Uh, old Business 07-1222, request for consideration of a no parking ordinance during carpool school drop-off and pickup hours on Poinciana. Um, I reached out to Merrick at the BOE right after we talked about this a month ago, I believe, uh, just to engage on any questions or any concerns that they had heard from parents or, you know, what kind of issues that they had experienced. She reached out to the principal, and not being a shades cut up a parent, I'm drawing a blank, but uh, what was reported back was basically that they they have had an ongoing issue for a while, but primarily it is one residence that is causing the issue, uh, and they did, they did not think that signage would propose or would uh, remedy the situation. So, well, could, if we do that, do we have the right to give them a ticket? Yeah. I guess you could. Yes. So, I. I wanted to go gather that information and then are they is it near the intersection it's 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 oh, the, yeah. it's it's it's, is it within it's a, 30 no, feet of that intersection yes. not, not the intersection but it's it's um no, it's, it's certainly in the way there's no question <laughs> and it's purposeful it is purposeful Wait, does there, is there a yellow curb right there is it one of the kids no the there's not and i think that's what this was trying to establish which i don't think you would yellow curb something that's a temporary no parking like from 2.30 to 3.30? Yeah, it's kind of hard to Yeah, I mean, you would just have to do it with signage, and then then I, then I anticipate your complaint being, well, what, what's the recommendation? recommendation? I'm, I'm all for stopping this. What What's what's a proposed recommendation? President Wyatt? <laughs> sounds, sounds, sounds like, like a... You look like you want to weigh in. Giving a ticket? Yeah. I mean, I don't have any great ideas about how to... Armadillos. for everything. <laughs> <laughs> if you do a part time no parking thing, then what do you do with cars that have been parked there before the window? Yeah, that was my concern before. Yeah. Um, it's, it's hard. And so it's. I, I don't know if there is a good solution, I guess, or a solution that solves everything. So it's, it's really just sort of a situation of which problem do you want to deal with? Um, do you want to deal with the problem of the traffic? Do you want to deal with the problem of the cars that have been there? You know, the, the neighbors that are have parked out there for a long time and might be parked there outside of the window and their car's still there. Um, do you want to make it no parking all the time? And, it, you know, there's, I don't think there's a solution that just sort of solves everything. It's, it's really just kind of what we feel like is the best option available okay and I did ask the question have they reached out and they said that they have reached out multiple times to all of the houses on that stretch because I think there's only five or six mm -hmm. that are in the affected area one of the teacher yeah I was gonna say one of the teacher so well that sounds like there's just one there's is, just one problem yeah is, is there don't we have a school zone we do. You know where yeah. you know you can't use your cell, cell phone, phone and all that. Yeah. So, can yeah. we make no parking within the school zone? But again, it's you just can, how you gonna regulate if they yeah. do it before that time. Yeah, I mean, all right, here comes the because I mean, I, I, the first situation I see popping up is like uh, drop off in the morning. What if someone hasn't left from work and their car is there overnight? So it's just a lo it's a logistical headache. I mean, I, I like the idea of solving the problem, but I don't know how I get there. One, one of the other issues with enforcement, 
I would right. think is people are parking there during the time while they're waiting to go through carpool. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, no question. You mean getting there early? Yeah, there, 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 are, there are people that get there early and park, um, mm -hmm. which I'm not saying is a bad thing, but it is parking. So you know, if, like I said, I just I don't know that there is a good solution here. I think it's that, you know, ideally we would be able to, or the board or the school or someone would be able to communicate effectively with problem the people who are causing the problem but I don't know that that's possible either so it doesn't sound like it is it doesn't sound like they're willing to call cooperate. this is one we asked the principal to send them a, a letter mm -hmm. and that has not been effective there's a the, that particular house has complained to the school about the noise coming from the field in the morning when the kids have PE They, they had, had kids, kids that went to school there. <laughs> they have three kids that went to school there not that long ago. Well, that's good, but they're long gone. 19. Their kids went there. Their kids went there. Well, I, I, I don't know if, if, if we don't have a clear recommendation. I mean, I don't, I guess I don't have any issue with us, you know, trying to pass or passing some. Uh, temporary no parking thing again I just don't know that I don't know that it's going to solve the problem because if someone's parked there and they say well I parked there previously then are we just going to keep giving them tickets somehow and how are we going to that that's the issue it's, it's not so much that you know we're worried about giving people tickets that don't deserve them it's more how I just don't know how you enforce the ticket once it's given once it's there they say no. we parked there it's, it's, since it's, it's, 10 o'clock last night. Now, we have one example that, that has, has really been effective, and, <laughs> and, and that is on Broadway. Um, we were we we're having people in the, in the morning that were leaving Edgewood headed north to, to Oxmoor, and they couldn't turn right because traffic was backing up. So we just put that one parking spot Correct. You can't park here between seven and eight, seven and seven, eight or whatever it is. Thank and, you for that. <laughs> and that that took, I mean, that really, that took. I think that that has been effective. It's a huge. Mm -hmm. You can now take a ride. So, why couldn't we do the same thing there? Just parking, no parking. You you can do the same thing. People weren't trying to get around that. What I'm saying is, if you want to try to get around what we're talking to, talking about, if you're determined to do that, well, then how do you just not say, well, I parked there since 10 o'clock last night? Well, and, and I think the bigger concern I have is that the people who come early and sit there, I mean, they're, in a sense, parking there, too. And how are we going to discriminate against them versus the... Just makes enforcement. It, yeah. I don't disagree with you that if people will sort of follow the... The ordinance, then everything's fine, right? If people don't follow the ordinance, then I think we've got an enforcement issue. It's not that it's not worth a try if you want to try it, but that's that's the issue. Is it's difficult to enforce if someone wants to? Randy, <laughs> you came on a good night. Randy's like in yeah. and about. Yeah, do you want to weigh in on that from the HPD standpoint? <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll mic, mic the sign, it's like whatever y'all want to say. <laughs> yeah, I, all right. I, I mean, I, 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 I know this is my item, and I put it, I put it on here at the request of, I think she's the PTO president this year, or she has been in the past. But I, I see this, I see what you're saying. You know, I work on a college campus, and those kids do not care. <laughs> I mean, they do not give. Yeah. I mean, I do not care. I'll say we drop it. Is that a motion? Yeah, I'll, I'll second it. All right, so we have a motion to drop by Councilor Jones, and second by Councilor Hardin. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 All those opposed, nay. The ayes have it. Four to zero. Item is dropped. New business, 1601-23, request for additional street lighting and assessment for Parkside Court. Andy Nix, Councilor Jones. This item was dropped in finance. 
I would entertain the same motion here. I'll make a motion to drop uh, okay. 1601 23. Councilor Hardin's motion. Second. Councilor Nelms. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 All those opposed, nay. Item is dropped 4 to 0. 170123 public hearing set for February 27th at 6 p.m. for consideration of condemnation of the dwelling structure at 1509 Beckham Drive. Uh, Wyatt Pugh inspections and permits. Yes, sir. <coughs> Got some pictures here that we're taking today. I don't know if you all, oh, oh, some of you are more familiar with this property yes, than the others. This property has been around for a while. Yeah. No problem. Yes, yeah. it's a bunch of different happenings. Is that a camera? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, uh, you might have seen that. I put that picture of the camera on there to point out that at the abatement Ooh. board, the, rep the owner's representative said that they had cameras in the house and they observed the raccoon in the kitchen at one point. Why do they have the cameras? And why'd they tell you that? <laughs> Wait, why did they do something about it? <laughs> there you are. That was what I wanted myself. But, <laughs> 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 yeah. but yeah, either way, uh, yeah, oh, the yes. can get wow. in. I don't know what else can get in, but uh, anything the, uh, that wants to, I'd say. Condition of the house is well. Wow. I don't really have to say a whole lot. The, the, the only picture that was not taken today was the one on the left there. That's a drone shot taken in August. You can see there are literal holes in the roof. And that's not all of them, but water's just been getting in, and of course, water absorbs moisture. So there's no telling how much rot. Um, yeah, rotten mold is, is present inside that, that structure beyond that. Keep, keep they up. haven't keep lived there up. since, if I might may, in several years. They live in California, and I don't know if it was like two, right after I got on council, we had a, a meeting with them. Mm -hmm. You made a phone, long distance phone call with them, and they said they were going to do some things. They don't ever move the cars. They're two old broken down cars. but. The thing that's gotten it back on and you know in the process again is the neighbors are trying to sell their house this last year and can't. they can't. Oh. Wow. Now, look at it. Wow. Oh, they got Gerald the raccoon. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, they, they, <laughs> everybody, <laughs> uh, <laughs> potential buyers. Yeah, exactly. They're paying their taxes. Well, sure. Yeah. 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 And then I, I thought they had one. Mr. Pugh, yes, did we not they enter for? this house at one point and remove, like, I thought there were animals living in it. We removed something. Exactly. Yeah, that's right. You know, the animal control was that's called right. here at one, at one time because there were there was cats some, or dogs yeah, living were, in it. There were something. dogs. So it was basically you could smell the house from the street. Mm -hmm. oh, so bad. Oh, yeah. It's terrible. Yeah. That's yeah. I've also had a lot of complaints about this one as well from people that live close by. <laughs> And so what, what's the problem with the abatement board? Is it, are we just having to re-put it back to them? I think they finally passed it out. Yeah. 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 He's coming to us from yeah. there. Yeah. The abatement board finally sent it out to council. Yeah. Small, small miracles. With, without our board, board five rep involved. Mm -hmm. So, um, obviously, yes, we're looking for a motion. Send out with that recommendation pending the public hearing. All right, Councilor Jones, the motion uh, with the motion pending the public hearing. Um, is there a second? Second. No. Uh, second by Councilor Nelms. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. Aye. All those opposed, nay. The ayes have it 4 to 0. And public safety, if there's not any other, um, all these are good, um, is adjourned. That's really worth bringing back up. Mm, oh, I'm going to call Dallas about that tomorrow. Okay. We do have so. we, I wonder if we if we have rules as if you don't show up for two years. Yeah, we're going to talk about that tomorrow. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah. It's true. I think we just need to have a conversation with Oh, I cannot. I mean, it doesn't work on tomorrow, does it? Okay, special yeah. issues committee, uh, February 6, 2023. Councilor Smith? Here. Councilor Gear? Here. Councilor Alamon? Here. Councilor Sims? Here. And Councilor Andrus? Here. My favorite. Nice. Okay, um, need a motion to dispense with the reading and approve the minutes as presented? 
So moved. Second. Uh, motion for Ms. Andrews, second for Mr. Alamon. All in favor, please say aye. 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 All right, five to zero. Those are passed. Uh, we have no old business. Uh, new business, 1801-23, public hearing set for February 13th, 2023 at 6 p.m. for consideration of a variance of the sign ordinance to permit, to permit six electronic message board window signs at 1831-28th Avenue South, Suite 160, Kyle Bass Cinema Theater. Mr. Pugh. Hello, Mr. Hi. Bass, would you like to come up? Hi. Or, uh, you, feel free, go ahead. I'll answer any questions okay, that you yeah. have. But yeah, if you just want to talk about what you... Yeah, and if you don't mind, Kyle, just sign in right there. Sure. You don't have to worry about the item number, just your name and okay. Homewood Theater will do the trick. Uh, Homewood Theater for yeah. that? Okay. Yeah, that works. Okay. Yeah, we would like to uh, do some digital signage right there on the corner. Uh, really nothing more than just a, a digital poster of what our upcoming events are. Uh, instead of having posters stuck on the windows, we thought that a digital display would do a lot, uh, a lot better, look a lot neater, uh, look a little more modern kind of thing. It's very similar to what you would have in a movie now for their upcoming attractions. Uh, it would just list out. We're not looking for any, you know, running lights or uh, any video, uh, moving video in it. Just a uh, a roll through of what's coming up, so that uh, at nighttime the the windows are too reflective for it really to show during the daytime. So it'd really be a nighttime kind of thing. But we're getting a lot of um, of walker buys uh, down from the hotels and going to Social Taco and all that kind of thing. So we would like to be able to have what our coming events are there and uh, uh, be able to have, show that, again, just to, in the dark hours there would really be the only thing that it would show for, but basically just a digital poster for what's coming up. How big are these? They're like, TV, they're like TV screens. Yeah, they're, they're like a, it, it, it's a 40 inch TV screen, each one. Each one. Mm -hmm. And so I will say, um, Alex and I went out and, and looked at it and because they're on the corner, I, you know, it to me, this is so different because we don't have another theater in downtown and we're probably never gonna have another theater in downtown that I can think of, can't imagine where it would go. Um, so I think they're, you know, they exist in a little bit of a different world than and then the other you know businesses around I don't know um, and because of the corner location grabbing people you know and having them know where they go where to go and what's coming up I don't know they're not already in place are they are we they've been there but they haven't been yeah, but they're not they're not working on right? yeah they, they were they were there but they haven't been on. That's just for you to see what that looks like. Yeah. Question. Yes. Are, are there are there any other options um, that you'd be looked at that would not be a video board? Well, uh, again, pretty much the only thing, again, all we want to, I, I can't see what that, I think it says three on a string. Uh, there's the coming attraction right there on that uh, sample. But uh, it would be a poster. You know, and some of the businesses downtown have the posters type things. But again, for as many as we'd be running through, we thought it was a little bit more of a, uh, more economical option maybe. Uh, but also maybe just look a little, little more modern, a little more neat. Than, uh, than maybe the posters taped up in the window kind of thing. And I have a question. So you said it's a 40 inch screen. Is it? It's 40 top to bottom. Yeah, uh, I guess They're that's diagonal. So each are there three? Are there three? Yeah, 40 yeah. Inch screens? yeah there's. Right. They're, they're basically side. on like a little. And, the, and that's really thing. just because of the shape of the windows. I'd much rather have it just one that way, but the windows are cut it know, off. Go go horizontal, okay. right? Okay. <clears throat> Um, so the the appropriate motion is to send this without send this out without recommendation pending that public hearing on Monday night. I'll, I'll make that motion. Okay. Uh, motion by Ms. Gear, second for Mr. Alwan. All in favor, please say aye. Aye. Nine, aye. Five to zero. Okay. So we will see you six o'clock on Monday night the thirteenth. Okay. And we all have right. all your we have all your stuff, so you should just be able to yep. come again. Okay. Great. All right. Thank you, Kyle. Right. Thank y'all for your time. Yep. Thank, you. thank you. All right, 1901-23, public hearing set for February 13, 2023 at 6 p.m. for consideration of a sign variance at 169 State Farm Parkway, Megan Ellis, Advanced Sign and Lighting, McAllister's Deli, White Pew. Do we have? Okay, 
Okay, so they're moving from their current, from their present locations. Um, no, that I, I actually just got a um, the pylon. I mean, the pylon, the monument sign approved not long ago. Okay. Um, and they're actually only taking up half of the tenant space. So this is going to. This is a new location, though. Okay. Okay. So this is a new location. They're not going to be still over there by Lowe's. Yeah, they subdivided the tenant space. Okay. But they're not going to be over there by Lowe's? They're, they're still going to be in that same strip? It's right beside Taco Bell, like in between State Farm Parkway and uh, Lake moving. Shore. So they are moving? Yeah. Oh, that, that would be moving. I'm sorry. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm sorry. Moving. I don't know anything about where things are here. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So right now, McAllister's is in a strip that is right as you're driving into oh, the yeah. Lowe's. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Oh, right. Lowe's. AT &T so this is going across the way. Okay. Okay. Got it. Okay. So old FedEx. Oh, it's the old FedEx store. Got it. Okay. 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 This helps. <laughs> okay. Oh, and that, so there's gonna be another business in the next to it. Okay. They'll share a monument. Well, the monument sign. Okay. Um. I can walk with you this pretty quick. Yeah. And, and then you can ask me anything. Um, this this is the front the storefront sign that's that's allowed and that is compliant. And this is facing so, State Farm Parkway. This is exactly. Okay. Um, so I just showed you this for reference. This okay. is the permitted sign. So okay. variance one would be to permit a second wall sign on the side. So if you were to drive around this side, it would be right there. Okay. So that's variance number one. Okay. A second wall sign. Ryan, can go to this one? Yeah. Yeah. And they're the same size? They are. Variance number two would be to permit a third wall sign. Now this, uh, directional signs are permitted, and you, they, they may not require a permit, up to four square feet. This one is 11.7 square feet, so it does require a permit, so it's a wall sign. So this is variance number two. And so it says pick up, so is that, not a, is that a drive through window, or is it literally like you just yeah, it's right. Okay, okay. So this shows what it's going to look like okay. inside. Okay. Variance number three <coughs> is to permit a fourth wall sign. This is on the rear of the building. Um, facing Lakeshore? Facing, yeah, facing Lakeshore. That's exactly right. Actually, Lakeshore is the front. <coughs> this one's facing State Farm. That's the rear. Yeah, because that's the oh. rear of the building. Yeah. The front of the building is actually facing Lakeshore. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's weird. That pickup, it uh, is. it's not dry, but it's the same thing as like. Yeah, it, it's, uh, it's literally just a pickup window. Yeah, it's just a pickup window. It's like um, uh, urban, urban cookhouse. Yeah, cook yeah, it's like okay. urban cookhouse. Yeah. So you like order ahead and can just yeah, pick just it up. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's what I was thinking because I was like, it's yeah, that doesn't look like it's not normal right. for a McAllister's. Yeah, yes. I was about to say I've never seen so, it. Sorry, I'm, I'm turned around on which way what faces where. So okay, I'm, so I'm not been out there, but this is the rear of the building itself. I'm not yeah, sure. Yeah, that's the one that will face State Farm. Okay, is that one? Because the other one will face. That's what I thought. The, other, the bigger one faces out towards Lake Shore. Okay. Course, the way the building. And built. so, and then the side one that would be facing back toward like I know the Chili's. Taco Bell's on that yeah. side. Okay, it's facing the, cho the Taco Bell side yeah. and the and the Whataburger yeah. way. Okay. It's going back towards like Lowe's and all. Yeah. All right. That's, 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 that's variance number three, and then Brian will go to the next <laughs> one. So variance number four. Here's another. Slightly, it's a it's a directional and it's an advertisement. So and it's forty three point two square feet. This is what it looks like. So that would be larger than four square feet, which is a permitted directional size. So it's a fifth wall size. Would it, I mean it would I guess because since it's oversized, it would make a difference if they took off the and it's not too late to add a sweet tea for it. It was it's still larger than still four larger. square feet. So it requires a permit. This one's not illuminated. It's a mirror. the other one? The other pickup sign's not illuminated. It is oh, it is. Okay, so are all the other signs ex ex except for this one? Yes. Okay, so that one's illuminated yes. and then all the Macalls. Those right? are individually mounted channel letters. Okay. As are those? Yes. Okay. Except for the deli tagline. Okay. But illumination is permitted in that district. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> only one. Only one. One sign. Yeah. 
Um, so from that aspect, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, go, go, go. Um, so from that aspect, um, Wyatt, are you saying variance two would need to be a variance for a wall sign, an additional wall sign, and for illumination? Well, illumination is permitted. No, it's just the additional one sign. Now. Normally, you only have one sign. So, if you wanted to add, if you wanted to make that distinction, sure. It's and, really just about adding the additional sign. And, okay. And yeah, and for some reason, I thought this was painted on. So I'm, I, I didn't, I didn't catch that. So. But That's you're saying point that out. you're saying that pickup is eliminated. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. That one is, and then the other one, the longer one, is just painted on the wall. Okay. Mm -hmm. And where is the where is it painted on the wall? The rear. Okay, so they want to advertise the pickup because it's not normal for a McAllister's. Right, right, right. Yeah. It's going to be on facing the facing State Farm Parkway too. They wanted the yeah. side elevation in the rear to show um, the pickup. <laughs> so that side will actually have your with the variances. It'll have a McAllister sign and. Pick pick up up sign on the same side. Yeah. Pick up. It looks like my drawing show like yeah. the full elevation. The front would be just the McAllister sign. The side elevation would have the McAllisters, and then the pickup on, over the window. Mm -hmm. And then the rear would have McAllisters and pickup under it. Oh, yeah. And this is the one that's not illuminated. I'd like to make sure to send out our recommendation to the <coughs> Okay. Motion for Ms. Andrews. Second. Second for Mr. Sims. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Five to zero. All right. So that will be in public hearing on Monday night. Okay. Thank you, Megan. Thank you. And with that, we are adjourned. Yes. All right. Okay. I'm trying to think. Like, I don't know. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> 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 they didn't do the, they didn't do the, <laughs>